another episode Hey friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Daniel, but you can call me Donnie B. And in today's video, it's going to be another weekly reset. And the way that I plan my resets is that I just look around and see what needs to be done that can make a more productive week. A lot of times I go into my reset not knowing exactly what I'm going to do and that, that that works for me <laughs> um like some people have this all this meticulously documented schedule as to what's going to, what they're going to be doing for the day but the way that my life is set up things change and there's always something unexpected that happens and i might not do exactly what i have planned so i just go by the day and say okay i look around like what needs to be done or what can i do to make my week more productive so that's what we're doing today so i know for sure that I am going to be putting a load or two of clothes in the um, in the washer. And also I am going to be um, restocking my laundry products. And so that's what I'm looking at right now. Now, if you want a full laundry day routine, um, make sure you go and check out my last um, laundry video. I just posted it a couple days ago where I did loads and loads of laundry um, just for some motivation in order to get you started and going for the week. Because I know sometimes it's extremely hard to get all of that laundry done. And I know one of my least favorite things is folding and putting it up. I can put clothes in the washer and dryer all day, but when it comes to taking them out the dryer and folding them and putting them in the location where they're supposed to go, I struggle with it. So in order to help you out, I create my laundry day routines. Um, I'm going to try to link it. If not, it's in a playlist. I have most of my videos in a playlist. Um, so it's going to be for this year, there's going to be Donnie B does laundry 2023 or something like that. Um, so I just spent all night. It was a late night laundry routine. So while the kids were asleep, um, I just spent all night washing as many loads of clothes until I got tired. So if you want more um, laundry motivation, go check that out, okay? And what way to start off a productive reset than to wash a couple loads of clothes? Um, it, like I stated earlier, I am going to be washing a couple of loads. If you are into laundry motivation and you're needing some extra laundry motivation, please make sure you go out and check my playlist. I have loads and loads of laundry motivation for you. Um, so there's just a few things that need to be washed because I did a, a huge and massive um, laundry day the other day. So I only had a few more items that I needed to throw in the wash and dryer. Now that I have that load of clothes going, I'm going to go ahead and just make up my bed. Um, I washed my sheets a couple days ago, so it's not quite time for me to wash them as of yet. Um, but I love to get into a freshly made bed. Um, 
that's why I tend to make sure that I make it up every morning as soon as I get out and let me know who is in charge of making up the bed at your home if you are married or if you're living with your significant other um, what me and my husband decided to do was the last person that gets out of the bed they have to make the bed and yes I am guilty I am usually the last person that gets out of the bed which means that I make up the bed most of the time so what do you all do Now that that load of clothing has washed, finished washing, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw them in the dryer and load up the washing machine with another load of dirty clothes. When organizing these clothes, I was in the mindset of throwing away everything that I have not seen them play with or I do not see them play with and things that they have grown out of. So like if there is an age limit, like if the toy is for like a one plus or a one year old or something of that nature, I just go ahead and toss it with all the toys that are here. They're not gonna miss them anyway. So, and then there's plenty more toys upstairs. Um, so when they go upstairs, they can play with those as well, but they have plenty of toys. Anything that I throw away, they're not gonna miss it. My two year old loves this Einstein box. My husband got it for him for Christmas. Basically what it is, it has some masks and you can identify the animal and then it came with some books as well as some picture flashcards and um, some other matching games. These cards that I'm showing you right now did not come with the Einstein box, but it is a different form of like, you know, the first words with recognizing animals like and things of that nature. Um, what well, is mostly our, my, your first animals and each card had a um what was it called a touch and feel to where you could feel like fur and you could feel something that feels like scales when it was a fish which was actually like leather and then like you know cowhide when it was a cow so it all of these toys these are educational toys uh, my sick my youngest son he loves this box Like this. 
perfect because there are more toys than there is space and those of you with children completely understand the the whole more more toy than space thing but I think that it looks pretty neat as, as it is right now the boys are not here and I know this will completely change once they get home but you know for now I can revel in the fact that there is some organization over here just watching a little of uh, Vaughn TV I had the turn her off so like you guys can hear me talking but that's what I'm watching right now and it's kind of helping me get through the process of cleaning so with me organizing the closet comes me also trying to organize our dresser drawers um, because I don't think they're being used efficiently so I'm just going to um, clear out some dresser drawers and put um, some clothing in there organized um, so I can make more room instead of trying to sh shove everything into the closet on those top shelves so uh, this is my husband's top drawer. I just pulled all of this stuff out <laughs> that was just put in there and I'm just going to organize it better and, and uh, just basically get everything together. From your hands and your body, it hurts so much to think of you as someone else. Can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me. Now I'm talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms on me, put your faith in me, put your love on me at this moment i'm also working on organizing my closet so i'm going to go ahead and fold up my husband's pants and my pants um, that i just washed in one of those loads of laundry and i'm going to put them and get them ready to put them up in the closet so please do stay tuned i am going to be posting my um my closet organization video i didn't just, i didn't want to attach it to this video because it's already too long and i didn't want to completely bore you all so in my next video that i'm going to be uploading i'm going to be putting um i'm going to be showing you how i organize my uh my master closet your touch from your hands and your body it hurts so much to think of you as someone else can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me Now I'm talking sweet all by myself Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me I'ma do everything for you, I don't want anyone but you Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me Hey all, it has been a, well Hey all, it has been a long day and I am still going. Most of the day I honestly spent um, folding clothes and I didn't want to show you uh, me folding clothes over and over and over again because like it was like monotonous and there are plenty of my laundry routine videos for you to watch if you would prefer to, um, if you really just want to watch me folding clothes and putting them up. So right now it is late. I'm getting started on dinner super late. It is 7.52 and I'm gonna do some salmon, some green beans and a sweet potato casserole. Uh, hold on just a minute. Let me let me get dinner together. I'm so frazzled right now because I've, I've done a lot but it doesn't look like, have you ever um, like felt like you had done a lot but when you look at it, you're like, did I really do a lot? So that's how I feel about my um, my closet. I feel as though I've been working all day trying to straighten it up, but to me looking at it, it doesn't seem like I did much to it. My husband said that he noticed a huge change and with the organization and stuff, but I just feel as though something is, there's more that can be done. So I'm just that type of person that's always super duper hard on myself as well. So. I will take that as well. So let me go ahead and get dinner going and started, and I'll catch back up with you. Underneath bright lights, when you, I see you dancing on the polar. 
I'm going to start on my sweet potatoes for my sweet potato casserole being that the sweet potatoes are going to take the longest to cook so I'm just going to peel this with your with a um a vegetable peeler this is how I use mine some people they use it well they where they um they peel against them or away from them but I like to peel it to where like it becomes towards me if you know what I'm talking about but that's to me that's the easier way how do you peel or use your vegetable peeler so I'm just gonna make sure that I am going to cut my sweet potatoes all in uniform pieces so they all cook around the same time and I'm cooking them in small pieces or cut it cutting them into small pieces so they cook faster just gonna put them in some water with a little sugar and and I'm just gonna let it go until they get soft. I'm choosing this meal because fish, it, the salmon doesn't take too long to cook. Like I stated before, the sweet potato casserole is gonna take the longest. And here I go, seasoning up my salmon. quick tip for you and I've learned this through trial and error you see this lid right here I continue to make sure that every time I use my lemon pepper I always place it back on top and close up the lid that way um, you know how your lemon pepper always tends to clump up and sometimes you end up you throwing it away before you continue to use it I've had this lemon pepper for months and I continue to put that seal back on top of the container before I close up the, the top and I have had this lemon pepper for a long time so give it a try and tell me if it works for you Now that my sweet potatoes are soft, I'm going to go ahead and season it up. I'm going to put um, a little butter. Now, please do not ask me how much because I don't work with measurements. I cook by eye and by taste, and so I don't actually give measurements. But I'm going to go ahead and put the butter in first so it can go ahead and melt because my fire is off. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up. Then I'm going to follow with a little milk, a little vanilla. Um, I do have some nutmeg that I'm going to be using, some ground nutmeg. I usually grind up my own nutmeg, but you know, I was in a rush tonight. A little cinnamon, some sugar, and a couple tablespoons or of flour just to bind it all together, and then I'm going to give it a good mix. Also, I'm going to be placing an egg in here, but I'm trying to put the egg in later after I taste everything so I can see what it all tastes like before I put the egg in oh and don't forget I'm using brown sugar and I'm also using some white sugar as well for sweetness of the the casserole I'm gonna give it a good stir and then I'm gonna taste it to make sure that it tastes the way that I want it to taste and once I get my flavors correct then I'm going to add the egg and I'm going to place it in the casserole dish a grease casserole dish and place it in the oven for about 30 minutes after I place on a couple marshmallows.
Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Donnie B TV. On your way out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, enjoy your day.